One of the biggest mistakes I see is dead end quiz questions. I'll show you what I mean. Say I'm working through a tutorial on science about the periodic elements. The tutorials maybe taught me a little bit about periodic elements, and now I am dropped with no escape into a slide where I'm asked to, for instance, drag and drop the elements in order. Now I don't know what the, the weights are, so hopefully this tutorial has prepared me very well to memorize those weights. So I do the best I can, I hit submit, I get it wrong. So I say, oh, okay. There's six of these things. I'll give it another shot. There's pretty much no way I'm going to get this right. I'm demotivated. I'm discouraged. Let's try it again. Oh, I got it wrong again. And in the worst case scenario, there's never an escape from this slide. I'm stuck here rearranging these six elements until I get it correct. And there, it's very likely that you're never going to get it correct unless you truly have been prepared by the tutorial to memorize the weights of every single one of these, which is probably unlikely. You're never going to get this question right. You're going to be here forever and you will not be able to access the rest of the tutorial. I've had this happen with beginner designers. I've gotten trapped on dead end quiz questions and I wasn't able to move on in the tutorial because I got stuck. Here's how you redesign it. When you have complicated questions, if someone gets it wrong twice, they're probably not gonna get it right on the third try when it's something complicated like this. So instead, limit it to two tries. If they get it wrong on the third try, offer them an out. Offer to revisit the content, maybe just move on to the next question, maybe give them another shot at the quiz later on. Think about what you want the consequences to be for your quiz questions and design accordingly. Just because you know something very well and you know the answer to a question, doesn't mean that your user is going to magically have perfect preparation coming into that question and they might get stuck on it. And this is one of the things that makes it really important for you to do user testing, to actually watch people, your intended audience, uh, use your tutorial and make sure they get through it in the way that you think that they will. So limit questions to two tries.